Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mac here. Welcome back to another new video. Uh, today we're going to be continuing with the uh, kind of Mac setup series that I've been working on. Uh, and today's video is going to be really short and hopefully pretty easy to follow. We're going to be creating a second update script, specifically just to update all of our apps and do some pretty basic kind of maintenance on them. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, kind of an abbreviated version of our install script. There's a lot of things that we're doing in this kind of script, changing system preferences, editing uh, app files, edit app dot files and things like that. Uh, but one of the big parts of the app is that we're installing a whole bunch of apps from a whole bunch of different locations all at once. And while that's really great, I also thought that it would be nice to be able to update all of those apps and do kind of some simple maintenance in a second script that we could run, you know, once a week, use some kind of automation with automator or something or a geek tool or something like that to run it every day or just manually run it whenever we feel like hey maybe we want to update in, in my case i'm using three different app uh installer kind of setups i'm using homebrew i'm using casks which is kind of sort of a part of homebrew and then we're using uh this mac app store replacement command line tool to update everything and you could manually go in and update every single app individually or you could just let apps do the updating for you. But I think it makes a lot of sense to have a script that you could run kind of frequently that'll just do everything for you so you don't really have to worry about it too, too much. Now, the way that this works is pretty simple. If you're using something like Homebrew, if you just do brew, uh, sorry, brew, um, you'll get a list of commands that you can give this program. So you can do brew search and try to find different apps that you want to install. You can do brew install to update apps. You can do brew update to do updates. You can do brew upgrade to upgrade formulas. You can install things. You can do brew config to troubleshoot stuff. You can install with different options that will do debugging and things. You can create brews. All, there's all sorts of stuff that you can do. And if you're super interested in all of that, you could just do man brew. And this will open up a manual page for the app that you can scroll through with J and K and kind of read up a whole bunch about it. And the same thing is true if I were to type in brew cask or if I were to type in uh, MAS, I would get a whole bunch of info for setting all of this up. So let's go ahead and create a new script to get this working. So I'm gonna do touch, and this is the program that we use to create a new file. And of course, if you're not comfortable on the command line, uh, this is as easy as coming to a finder window, go into your home directory, and then just like right click new file, and then opening that in text edit or Atom or Sublime or any kind of text editor that you're comfortable using. I'm doing it on the command line just because you do have to run the chmod program in order to make it an executable. And, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm kind of sort of pretty comfortable getting pretty comfortable on the command line. So uh, we're going to do touch to create a new file. I'm just going to call this install or sorry, not install, upgrade or update script. And then if we list, you can see now we have a new file called update where is it there it is and i'm going to go ahead and just make this executable so that we can run it at any point in time if we keep an eye on our finder here you can see this is our new file here update right down here i'm going to do chmod plus x update we run that and assuming nothing goes wrong now we have an executable program that we can run so i'm going to go ahead and start editing this i'm going to be using vim again again use whatever text editor you're comfortable in and uh, we'll go from there all right so the first thing that i want to do is i actually want to update all of the apps that we work with so there's a few different ways to do that um, what i'm going to do first i'm going to just type out echo and i'm going to say updating uh, applications just so that we get kind of a message in the command line telling us what's going on and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do brew update and this will update all of our homebrew apps then I'm going to do brew cask upgrade and this should upgrade all of our casks and then I'm going to do mas upgrade and this should upgrade update all of our mac app store apps now keep in mind the syntax is a little bit different for each one of these and the way that I know whether to type up Update or upgrade in different cases is, as I mentioned earlier, by just going in and looking at like the manual pages and reading through them. Or you could just type in brew and it'll kind of give you a list of what you can say. Um, okay, so there we have that all set up. So then the next thing that we could do is I'm going to come down here and I want to do brew cleanup. And this is another command that is going to basically remove 
extra downloaded files, like junk that we don't really need. It'll also remove uh, files that were with applications that we've deleted, anything like that. It's going to keep everything nice and clean and lightweight for us. And this should apply to Homebrew and uh, all of our CACs, CASC that we have installed, I believe. You might want to fact check me on that last part, but I, b I believe it should work for CASCs and homebrew formulas. So I'm going to come up here and just above it, I'm going to say uh, like echo. We're uh, now cleaning up directories or something like that so that we know what's going on. So I'm going to right quit those changes. And then what I can do is I'm just going to do, uh, uh, we can go ahead and list our files and see that we still have uh, this update file. And then we can run it again by either doing dot slash, oh, sorry, dot slash and then the name of the file, or we can navigate to the finder and then find our actual file here. In this case, it's this update file, and we can just double click on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it, and you can see we get our little message, updating applications, everything is up to date, our casks are, don't need to be upgraded, it's doing something, don't know what that means, it's cleaning up directories, this is where we're using that brew cleanup thing, and you can see it's removing homebrew, Mojave bottle, I'm not sure what exactly this is. Oh, it's some kind of extra something left over from them. That's it, really. It's a, it's a pretty simple little tool. It's not terribly difficult or anything, but hopefully it serves it serves a purpose and it does it really well. But that is all for this video. Uh, thank you everyone for checking it out, and I will see you in the next one.